I'll say yes, I received that. Yay! It only took me having to use my bank card instead of the account. The account. So, I will leave it back. Okay, apparently Sorry. that's what we're starting the episode off with. Because <laughs> I clicked it just as you were saying the thing up. Oh yeah, no, I've received it. Yay! So, greetings everyone, and welcome back to the Devil Darlings. Where if the villains misbehave, Cordy will send them to Minecraft. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so how about that so uh, how about that whole Smash Bros Minecraft reveal? I'm just happy that the fucking salty bastard's gonna get Gino or Sora or some shit. <laughs> so, these characters have too many representatives to G Mario has ten. Okay. Nervously sweating. So the big question right now is, Santa, is your voice better now? How is your voice doing? Oh, Santa is oh, Santa is here, okay. Yeah, Santa's, Santa's here, just muted. being abnormally quiet. Dog. Yeah. They're also muted. I'm, I'm muted, but I muted myself because everybody was talking all at once, so oh, I need okay. to back up. But yeah, no, my voice is good. Okay, because it rolled you to sing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't even remember what the intro is. Let's do these. Nope, it's not there. It's not there. Cross of Legends pinned. Uh, is it the at the end or is it Oh Mrs. DM? At the end. At the end. At the end. Every week, each one of us become oh, geek. Tonight, the DM makes him. Is it the wrong one? No, it's no, not the right one. Thinking. Okay. Iron. Because if what? everybody talks to me all at once, I can't hear what you guys are saying. That was the right one. Okay, that's the right one. Okay, cool. All righty. Um, it's just because Discord doesn't like it when more than one person talks. Um, each one of us becomes a geek. Tonight the DM makes a move and all the magic fills the air. I'll never let this feeling go. I'll let the character take control. At the end of every week, each one of us becomes a geek. Hey. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Discord has been doing that recently, where when everyone talks at once, it just freaks out everyone else's mics. Yeah. Either way. So, last time on the Devil Darlings, you all managed to get slightly hoodwinked, as it turns out the shapeshifter in your midst was in fact one of the gargoyles that was causing away, out, causing away Cody and Whisper. Who almost yeeted Cody into a river. But not before reading their mind for things. Meanwhile, back in the town, in Turtle Bay Landing, you all managed to reincarnate the blacksmith into the form of a possum knoll. Before helping repair his workshop. And I did say that some people were going to get special items for helping him do so. <laughs> So Cody got hers. Yeah, Cody got hers already. She got the buckler. Hello. You get a bag of holding. A bag tail, of holding. A, ta a tail bag of holding. Oh, that's adorable. Does the this have anything to do with that one thing that Yeah. Post? Yeah, that gave me the idea. Inferno. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. He has taken your alchemy jug and has repaired it oh yay <laughs> <laughs> so it no longer has to roll to see if it's going to pour out the correct thing oh no drown people in mayonnaise again yeah <laughs> even uh, though that was Patrick's thing trickster yep. I believe you were there as well he has given you a ring. No. <laughs> I mean, it is temptating. <laughs> he has given you a special little set of a set of specially made armor that is too small for you. He has made it for breakfast. Ow! Oh, that's even more cute. 
you actually. So, <laughs> I'm going to hop onto breakfast sheets and I'm going to up breakfast AC to 15. It is also in very adorable colours as well. <laughs> it's kind of like a pastel pink. Oh, that's nice. And let me just see who else was there helping. I believe Yules was also helping. Uh, well, I I didn't so much help rebuild as I brought the dude back to life. That is true. You did. You did. Yeah. He is going to give you. Uh, let me just look this up something because. Druids not really something I've really worked with too much in Fifi, so I need to look up something that would work quite well for Druids. I mean, literally just give me anything that's not made of metal. I think there is an item specifically for that kind of thing. Uh, there's, there's Staff of the Wildland King. Or the Staff of the Wildlands, as it's actually called in 5th edition. <laughs> okay. I think I've seen something there that could do well. But I'll just need to see if it's a rare thing or not. So give me a second because for some reason it's loading very slow. Ooh. Hi. What is that? Okay. Where did my eraser go? So that be me that. I'm going to have to try and find it on this thing, but this thing could work. It was. Okay, yeah, no, we'll go with this. Mm. Band of the Dryad. He hands you what seems to be a small, simple wooden band that appears to be entwined with evergreen ivy vines. The top is decorated with a small rose petal which remains bloomed and perfect. At each day at dawn, the petal will bloom again if it, the effect has been used. The power contained within the rose petal may be expended to heal a target the wearer can touch by 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Once used, the rose petal wilts and falls off the ring, and it may not be used again until the next dawn. Um, can you, like, copy and paste that to me? I can indeed. I will copy and paste it into the D&D &D chat. I just looked it up oh. and it seems to be quite a nice little druid thingy that also helps with healing. That's pretty. Uh, let me just see that. And... and last but not least, Whisper. Mm -hmm. In the fabric of time and space, and all he gives me is a goddamn band. <laughs> you are I think mean, they could have given me something worse. Do you know, like you lost your cleaver? I, I've never lost my cleaver. Well, which uh, that you threw at the person and they stole it last session. It was the cleaver. It was yeah. the cleaver. Shit. Yeah, right. you did lose your cleaver. Well, that's okay. I have plenty of other items. I have the flail and everything. So you are handed a fancy, ornate-looking cleaver. Basically, the same as your old cleaver, plus one. Counts as a magical weapon. Wait, it's a plus one. Yes. Oh, now I'm gonna have to update that. Okay. Uh, butter cleaver. And I believe Plus that is one. <laughs> then Una walks up, having rested at the tavern, and she is handed a special item of her own. What seems to be a small circlet. And it explained to her that this will help control her wild magic. Basically giving her... What the... What? <laughs> That's me. That's okay. me. I just wanted to see what laser action would be. That surprised me. <laughs> that surprised me for a second. Uh, Erner is handed a small circlet, which will help improve her chances of passing wild magic. 
She's also handed a couple of crackers. Who knows where they came from? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm joking about that one. She doesn't have nearly nefarious nibbles. So. Um, Cody will kind of walk up to Una. Yep. And is like, I need to talk to you. Okay. Look. The reason I wasn't didn't want you to come was because I was worried that you'd get hurt. I mean, I can... But... I can handle myself. But... With all this going on with Domitor, I'd rather you're with us now. I mean, I can handle myself with fighting getaway. You saw what I did back on the pirate ship. I know. But you're my sister. Una and I just want you to be safe. Una goes and gives you a hug. It's like, I'm just glad you're not hulking out anymore. Trust me, it's hard not to. The emotions here are weird. I mean, it's to be expected. We lost someone close to us out. Yeah. It's like when Petru has just kind of mm -hmm. looks to one side. Mm. <laughs> mm, from Miasma, who did it, not Petru. Mm. <laughs> that was a hit of character. I was looking at the door screen. <laughs> at this point, Allo, you are approached. Hmm. And I believe it was Kiwi who mentioned this to you. But says in Kiwi that comes up. But it's rather someone that you all recognize from Tome. Uh the bar the bouncer, Chris. Yeah. I, I person that I actually don't recognize because I myself have never been to town because I came from across the sea. Hello. Oh, well, yes, except you, Yules. <laughs> he just walks up. It's like, oh, uh, greetings. Um, hello. The preparations are ready. We're just waiting for you and your squad. Isn't this the monk dude that Oni basically one shot? Yes. Okay, I was just trying to get down who this was in my head. As he was just looks here, like, the preparations are ready, we're just waiting for you all to, well, make your way to Tome. So, whenever you are okay. ready. He'll look to the rest of you, just like, nod about, like, I'm sorry for your loss. He was a good fighter. Mm. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then he also yours and be like, oh, and I don't believe we've been introduced to Chris. Yul just kind of looks up at him. He's just got like a little like mug in his hands. He's, it's like, it's a normal sized mug, but he's just holding it with both his hands because it's like extra large for him. And he just kind of looks up at Chris. Al. Well, well, yeah, sir. And he will head over to what seems to be a small caravan set up. I figured I could give you all a lift if you want. Lift me up. <laughs> Oh, Why yeah. do I mind you that you also say that as he walks forward, arms up like no, um, I want to help? Actually, yes. Actually, I do, because if this is a person-built wagon, um, could you lift me up? Yeah, I suppose I've got to do that with all oh, the smaller ones. Well, I mean, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. So he will help the smaller ones up. Cody, that means that you'll have to allow him to pick you up, of course. Cody will climb up herself. Okay. Make me an athletics. <laughs> <laughs> she refuses. Hey, um, Lay. Yes. I forgot. How long does Aloe's amulet last for again? 
Uh, I believe it's a daily charge. So it lasts all day? Oh, no, 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 no. The uh, spell itself lasts for, I think we said an hour. Yeah. But it's like a daily recharge thing. Like, once you've used it, by the next dawn, it's recharged. Okay. So, yeah. I was debating on Aloe testing it then. But oh, nah. Like Aloe's going to climb up herself. Okay. Uh, you can make me an athletics as well, but you can make it with advantage because you're a bit taller. Cody, you make yeah, it up fine. Um, you're... Is there a roof to this caravan? You're, you're a very good climber. Uh, we should yes, just call Cody Climber Grasp. Um, Whisper no. is just going to kind of leap and land ever so gently on the roof and then uh. transform like in a glow of sparkles into the little girl version of her. But this time she has both arms and she's just going to kind of like Set the butcher knife, um, I guess you could call it in her pocket, as she kind of like waves it behind her, it just like disappears like magic. Okay. And then she's just going to sit and chill on the roof okay. while the caravan moves, and she's going to sleep. Okay. I love you managed to get him by. And Trickster, before you manage to get in, uh, the blacksmith sets you to one side. As he looks All right. He looks at you be like, "Look, are we are we good? This this whole this doesn't change anything, does it? Uh, the whole you know different race thing now." Yul's just looking over the shoulder on the cart, um, just staring in the eyes of Trickster, is just mouthing the words, "Do it," as he's just like doing the circle hand motion. <laughs> We're still good. He'll, wow, wow. he'll not smile, bring you in for a close cuddle. Then be safe and come home, okay? I will do. And I'll be waiting. He'll smile and he'll head back to his newly built shack. And as you're all bored, you find there's a bit of a little bit of witchcraft going on on this little caravan. Basically, TARDIS rules. It's a bit bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Sorry. You'd, you'd instantly sense this as you got in there, Miasma. Because you sense that this could be a farewell type of magic. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And sat in there. Miasma clawing at the windows like the cat. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> Uh, cat gets just like do those videos of the cats that get stuck in the bath. They're like falling <laughs> towards the sea. It's like, hey, hey, let me out. Yeah, miasma, miasma, calm down. Calm. Ah. I will get, I will get the spray bottle. <laughs> and already That's sat. Of. <laughs> and already sat in there. On the far end. Seems to be a turtle. An elderly mm. looking turtle. Oh no. It's not Fukugui. Damn it. <laughs> they, I like turtles. They seem to be more like a uh, smooth shelled kind of turtle. Is it just look over at you with a smile? So you're the ones that are going up to the. Definitely Ugui. not Fukugui. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Ugui. <laughs> no. <laughs> My time has come. My time has come. Fukugui drags him out. <laughs> <laughs> so, he looks up. He's like, "So you are the ones that are heading up to the citadel." Uh, who the fuck are you? My name is Graham. That's a weird name for a turtle. Graham Norton. I was raised by humans. I mean, so, again, I repeat, Graham Norton. No. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't put that suffering upon you all. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think this is, the Eurovision Song Contest? I don't even know what that is in this world. Oh, God. oh no. I'm an American who watches that shit. That's how bad it is. <laughs> 
I, uh, I guess you could call me a researcher on the Citadel. I've been researching his past, doors that went down into there, if they're still alive anyway. And I figured I could come along just to train, help give you an idea of what to expect. Ooh, food. When's his birthday? <laughs> When's its birthday? You said you, you, you said you're a researcher on it. When's its birthday? I believe its creation was finished upon uh, the 25th of April. Uh, yeah, that, that isn't exactly relevant. <laughs> Do we need to bring a kelp? No. Oh. The Citadel's a building. I don't think it cares for cake. You say that, but everything cares for cake. If you were a building, wouldn't you want some cake? Uh, well, I suppose. And Sorry. Exactly. He'll just tilt his head. You're a strange little one, but I suppose it. I suppose that's just the charm of life. Just everyone having their own quirks. Oh, I did it before it was cool. Let's be honest here. He kind of walks over to look for a chair to sit on. Yeah, there's like the usual comfy adventures. He's just gonna climb on top of one, sit there, finish drinking his cocoa. Uh, he'll just look to roll and be like, well, what you can expect is, the Citadel is divided into what you call five areas. Also, sorry, I just realized the microphone were away from my mouth, so if I were a bit quiet. It is divided mm. up into five areas. You've got your central hub and the four quarters. Each of the four quarters is pretty much as big as a city, with obviously some space between each. Otherwise, it'd just be one big city, I suppose. Each of them seemed to basically go off a different culture. Some were more for the arts, some were more for keeping history. Apparently that's where my ancestors are from. Some are more for strength. And the last one was more for politics. You get the idea. Mm. And then, of course, those brutes invaded after after their small argument, air quotes, with the gods. And it wasn't seen since, so who knows what's happened to those civilizations. You'll be the first people to enter there in quite some time. Must be exciting for you all, really. Well, I mean, we aren't the first. There was the Drider, and then whoever she was working for, the uh, God Slayer lady. By the way, do you know who this lady is? Like, information was not filled out on the paperwork when they sent me to you guys. Like, did I give an did I give a name for her? I'm trying to remember. I don't you I... you did not. You have not. There is oh, no good. name in Oni's notes. Good, good, good. That just makes me happy, so that I'm not, you know, having to retcon stuff. No, um, you have you have not given her names. You only called her the God Slayer. Oh yes, uh, the God Slayer is the name that's most. It's the name that she adopted for herself after the whole situation. But uh, her name, if the records are to be believed, is. Fantasy name generator is loading. <laughs> Fantasy name. <laughs> Fantasy name Bella. generator. Who calls himself God Slayer, by the way? Like, that's, that's the equivalent of, like, oh, yes, I'm big and tough, but I'm edgy. Tragic backstory. Oh, no. Boo hoo. Well, why, like, don't just, why don't you just say God Slayer is the title? Her name is Nerva. Nerva the God Slayer. You're not even in here! Mm -hmm. I know. You're asleep! I'm, Piss off! I'm fourth wall breaking to talk to the DM for a second. Is, uh, somebody, get... somebody, <laughs> give me a, somebody give me a spear. Um, Her name is Kevia Stormtanner. 
Oh, a lightning rage. That is. Sorry, that is a hundred percent the type of name that somebody who's trying to overcompensate uses. It's a traditional Goliath name. I know most Goliath names are overcompensations. I mean, to be fair, just looking at his <laughs> thing, he's just like Mountain Cook, Long Langer, Wandering Mender, Wise Runner, Wild Dream. Yeah, pretty much. And of course. She entered that area with her four generals. Now I get to beat up more people. Origin, like, like, was one of them the Dryder? Was that one of her generals? No, or... we're still confused. Okay. As, we're still confused exactly on this, how they have communication with the Dryder on the outside. Apparently, the must, the whispering is that there's been some kind of cult waiting for him to be freed. That they have somehow been relaying messages, but how that still be gets through that door, I have no idea. Magic. Possibly. Well, so hold. Okay, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. I think I know something. Well, no, 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 maybe I don't. We we are going. What do I know? We are going to go open a door to unleash this be like. Okay, hold on. She can't leave the Citadel, right? Right? That seems to be correct, yes. Okay, that's all I needed to get into my head. For a second there, I thought she was outside of the Citadel trying to get in. They weren't really very specific when they were telling me this information. I only had, like, a limited time, like, about a week before I got sent here. So some things may have been lost in translation. It's why I am... Um going along with you all for this. Once that door opens, they could get out. But once you're all in, I can set up a barrier to try and stop them. Hopefully they'll be too distracted with you all coming in to do your job to all bum rush the gate at once. But who knows? If, so we're, uh, oh, if I no, was, no, no, keep on. If I was a wise person, I'd probably guess that they would all be at strengthened positions, and therefore probably each of them are in one of the quarters. With, of course, the god slayer herself in the middle. So, like... First off, and this is just a very important question, and I apologize if it's offensive or anything, but uh, are you a turtle, or can you change shape or something? Like, It's just we've been encountering some people that could do that, and we were just curious. By we, I mean me, uh, if you can change shape. I can change shape. Yeah, can you change shape? Yes, but uh, it's through something we call polymorph. So you don't do it through, like, actual shape changing, you're just casting Polymorph? Pretty much, yes. So then, um, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Miasma, this was your line of thought before I interrupted you, um, so actually I'll let you say it, mm -hmm. um, if you want to tell them about the thingamabob. The bog beast, the, the, the rat, aloe spoke to us all. Oh, well, I wasn't... Wait, bar I thought we were talking about the gargoyle. What about the bar <laughs> I mean, if, 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 there was, if there was a transforming bar beast, it's probably the same dude as the gargoyle, mm. but, like, I was meaning the gargoyle. But if there's a bog beast, sure, I've met many bog beasts. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> no, apparently uh, Aloe encountered a bog beast that spoke into something about... A, a, I don't know, something to do with the, maybe it's something to do with the mountain. They found, we found no. something. Help me, I don't <laughs> remember. Okay. No, you're fine. It's not you, hon, sorry. He, he's, 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 he's talking to his dog. Um, you, you are, so, you are so far right. Um, the bog beast, 
Um, they were they were at the arena. They changed shape, and then they came as the gargoyle, and they are somehow tied in with the people in the citadel and the people that took the mountain people that lived by the citadel hostage. Um, somehow they are tied in with those people. Um, so out of character, just making sure I have this correct, your line of thought is that they're how they're use they're the person that they're using to communicate, or that they're the cultists? Yes. Uh, okay. No, they're, they're using to communicate, but it could be something of the cult as well, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure we were on the same track out of character mm. as well. But yes. That's you were so why far I, right. That is why I believe it might be something to do with the uh, the communication that sounds like a certain that, like an enhanced ability maybe could, um, an enhanced version of message that could spell. make sense especially if as you said they are it was a shapeshifter you suspect supposedly that would make sense one of the one of the generals is a shapeshifter as well so hmm. it could be linked with them uh, out of curiosity, I do have some information on the other three. The shapeshifter, the information is a bit dry on them, aside from the fact that they are a shapeshifter. Apparently, where it is, even they forgot their own original identity. Oh, that'd be something. AKA, I'm rolling. I'm pulling up the reincarnate table and I'm rolling three times on this to see what other races is throwing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gonna get the. Unless you're doing DM rolls. Yep, there we are. You know, one of them being another ball. One well, them. one of them looks like it's a carnal, like a regular race. One of them. One of them. Which some consider more the brains of the group rather than the brawn, of course. Was a gnome. Their name was Smitty. <laughs> Smitty! Smitty the Brains. How intimidating. Oh fuck, that was a different accent! <laughs> Sometimes oh, it... intelligence is scarier than muscle. Surely you, a caster, must know this. Hmm. True. That being said, the one thing it took to take me down was the barbarian in the tournament. One of them is a rat folk. And no, it's not a teeth. I'm not making this a teeth. <laughs> it's not baddie teeth. <laughs> they call it, they called them Ratican. What? Ratican. Isn't that a Skaven like, name? Like, it's just the name of a random Skaven Grey Wizard. Is there, is there a character in one of those Disney movies with that name? Yeah, that's where I got the name from. It's uh, that's with the Great Mouse Detective, the villain. Of the yeah. Villain. Voiced by Vincent Price as well. It's a good movie. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Apparently they were the top of the class when it came to assassinations and poisons. And the other one the other one was a what's the name of that race again do you know like you're you as a tabaxi are like a cat person mm -hmm. a dog person but not a null like an actual dog person i forget the name a wargle that'll do a wargle Apparently, they relied on brute strength. They were like the heavy hitter of the group. Mm. And together, they formed one of the most infamous teams there was. But of course, the gods betrayed them. They sought vengeance. And they got trapped in the citadel for their troubles. And now you have been hired to go down there and sort them out. Kind of a twisted circle, if you ask me, but... 
The universe is a never-ending cycle of bullshittery that often includes the gods of vengeance. Often, at certain points in time, people end up thinking that they themselves are worthy enough to enact vengeance upon people who have done them wrong, therefore carrying on the cycle and becoming just as bad, if not worse, as those that they deemed horrible. It's the greatest weapon the gods have at their disposal. Mortal stupidity. It just kind of looks around at everyone else for their reaction to that. Was just like, so what do the rest of you mortals have to say for that? Come on. Ugh. I can don't be very follow. Stupid. I do not follow the gods anyway. And yet uh, here we are doing mm -hmm. your bidding like the bitches we are. But hey, it's fine. Anyway, um, so there's just the four generals. They don't have like any ancient, powerful monster or anything like that, right? Unless they've done something well down there, no. And anything that's we should... after they got sealed away is unknown. So, any defenses of the Citadel that we should be careful of? I know some of these towns have those uh, uh, Graphif? Graf, graf, the, the gargoyles. Um, the cool stone dudes. Is there anything like that in the Citadel that no. we might have to watch out for? Not that is in the recordings. Anyway, the Citadel was quite a peaceful place before they came. So, there was really no need for it. Even with the small quarter that focused more on strength. It was less a case of violent strength that you see nowadays of pushing into other's territories and taking over. But more just a case of whoever was the strongest was more higher up in power there. I see. But the sad things could have changed over the years. Especially if they're in charge. There's also been some odd whisperings going on around recently as well. Something about an upheaval in one of the realms. So basically, he'll look over to Cordy. Uh, <coughs> your race. Some of them I... have been having a bit of what can only be described as a existential crisis. Well, yeah. Our connection to Mama was severed. It's all we ever know until it's gone. There's been whispers of a power vacuum down there. Which I intend to fill. Someone's already made the move on it. Yeah, well, I'll just beat their ass and take it back. Uh, I don't have the names. Okay. Doki Cody team up confirmed. I don't I don't have the name <laughs> to hand, but some kind of serpent's guard. Damiter. Nick Damiter. Death to Damiter. I can't remember my own voice half the time. It's okay. It sometimes gets confusing for me as well. I just always remember it like this. High pitch and nasally is yours. High pitch is Benny, and uh, who? Wait, who the fuck is Benny? Why am I doing this? I'm gonna I shut up now. Know. Mm. And then he'll look over to you, Masper. Well, that's to be expected when the Feywilds has corrupted you so. Hag magic, if I recall right. You just got that kind Why of. Why are we talking? Set in aura Why are we talking you. about this? Curiosity. Curiosity. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to undo it. Look, Aloe, if I'm going to say something and then you say it before me, it makes me look significantly less cool. You and me are going I'm to have issues going to here. put those bastards six feet underground. Also, Raka. The trip. Wait, it's my. The trip. My microphone even. Yeah, it does. Your microphone is uh, working. So more than eight hours then. Yeah. 
Good, because I have not had any time to actually rest and do anything with my spell slots or otherwise since, so I'll just do that while I'm resting on top of the... Okay. Caravan. Miasma. What? Green hags. Is that your issue? Is that why you, you look like how you do? Yeah, yes. Oh. You know what's the best way to beat a green hag? What? Poker. They never win at poker. Trust me. Slow it. What? Poker. They never win at poker. Are we talking about actually poking her? Both. You trick them with a card game, and then you take a spear, and then you stab it into their wretched old heart. I don't ha- I don't use spears. Oh, um... Well, in a metaphorical sense, a spear of lightning is just fucking good. Yeah. According to the uh, tales, stuff that you shouldn't do is just throw a dwarf at them. That doesn't seem to work. Mm. <laughs> But could we throw a dwarf size kobold or or a namier? I mean, ah. it's possible Cody could take one of them out if we throw her at them. What? I mean, <laughs> if we, if we ever encounter item. if we ever encounter a hag, somebody chucks Cody at the hag. Cody goes full force with the hammers. Bam! Hag pancake. I mean... In theory? Well, good. That's good enough for me. Anyways, uh... (laughs) It was a coven, coven, though. I don't think it'll go as easily as that. I mean, when you take out one bitch, the other bitches begin to fall. And as the other bitches begin to fall, you just burn them in dragon fire. I don't use fire magic. Neither do I! His gaze just kind of looks over for a second over at Trickster. I got Cone of Cold. Oh, yeah, you could... They're, they're all a bunch of old ladies. You could just make them really cold because it's not like they're always cold anyways. Uh, I do they just a- hit them with fire. I do have a question for you all, though. Yeah? He kind of motions a claw up towards the roof. The one that's on the roof, what's up with them? They seem a bit... What do they're, they look like? They're, they're a creepy old lady. All right, all right, we're talking about a wrister. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they just ignore them. Hmm. They just they seem out of place. Is they are. It's like a Jenga piece that's crooked. It's okay. Just ignore them. They'll go away. No, they stay. No, they only exist if you pay them attention. She's nice. <laughs> Mm, At least she's been nice in my experience. There's a difference between being nice and trying to be nice because you don't know how to be nice by any other Is talking to that thing is like talking to a voice that's happened to echo back with the voices of everybody who has fallen in it. I'm sorry, but I'm just imagining as you're saying this. Bloody bells also in the caravan just making notes just so it can pass it on to Whisper afterwards. Like, look, I will shit. I will though be clear that none of this is what I'm saying is hate. It's only fact of the matter. She is quite sweet, but it's the same kind of sweet that artificial sugar is. So much of it'll give you diabetes? No. It's not real. Not because it doesn't want to be real, because it's trying to trick you. No, it just can't be real because it's not real. It was made to never be. Like I said, talking into a void that only talks back with the voices of those who already fell in. Uh. The turtle just sits there confused. It's just making notes. 
He also glances over at Una and just makes a sketch of his scar. That's Which one? The one on her stomach, the paladin scar. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is it the paladin scar? Is it the one where she got stabbed by a goblin? Is it the one where she blew her up? Is it the one where... <laughs> He'll just sketch that down and be like, that symbol, powered in origin, if I recall. Yep. Looks to you all. Yes. Like, just sees Cody's fur, fur bristle as she says it's like, I take it, some bad run-ins there. She lifts up her belly fluff, revealing the same symbol. Oh, oh, right. Have you ever tried walking into a brick wall? What? You ever tried walking into a brick wall? No, that's stupid. It's a lot less painful than trying to have to reason with the paladin. Da -da 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 -da. Paladins are shit. Tell me about it. Just... No, literally, tell me about it. I'm quite curious as to why you were saying their shit. Everybody has different reasons. He'll just like... Really? He'll just look to her and be like, if you want, so I can look into this paladin. Or his order, at least. See if I can find some information on him for you all. That is so sweet of you. What's your name again? My name is. Scrolls up quickly, scrolls up quickly. I didn't say shit. <laughs> what did I call it? <laughs> or, it was like. Cool it was like I'm a G. Something like that. No, you made a joke about it, like Gordon or something. It was Graham. 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 I knew it was a G. And. That's the entire thing for the band of the dread. I don't need that, I just need a H. So, on. I just need to write down Graham, just so I remember. Graham. So. New character. I, that just shows how bad my memory is. I gave him don't a name and in the same session I forgot it. <laughs> And I'm going to quickly roll something. As you're all talking, the caravan comes to a stop. As you hear Chris outside go, whoa, whoa there, whoa. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, it's mad, so why are we stopping? I don't know, it's not supposed to be our stop here yet. It's not been longer. Are they... Whisper's there a window? just gonna wake up with the halting of the caravan. Yep. <clears throat> what is that? Is there a window to the caravan, like, that we can stick our heads out of? Yes, there is. Tangle the way. Yeah, Yul's is sticking his head out the window. Um, why, why have we stopped? Uh... Who stuck your head out of one window? Who's sticking a head out the other side if they are? Cody. Oh, both, both of them just got <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, it's not I mean you both are small, small. enough. You, like, yeah, you both are small enough that you both could yep. probably do it. So, like, turtles are about eight foot high. Cody, Allo, Yules, and Whisper make me perceptions. Oh, <laughs> Perception. I will, uh, I will extract tangled from my extract tangled from my inventory because I realized my perceptions I've, on. I probably key. read something my familiar and long stretch of time we've had since it died. My perceptions on key because yeah. I'm well rested. Cody, you don't see this unfortunately because as soon as you're about to allo box out in front of you. Mm. Uh, the rest of you, however see a large gathering of fruzels. 
Oh. Uh, are they regular fruzels? Yes, they are. Are they our fruzels? No. Regu the regular normal fruzels. <laughs> okay, um, I just I just opened a new tab on my browser, and one of the things it says the pros and cons of swimming with a hammerhead. Okay. <laughs> Well, the I'm gonna close this. That. And it's the cart. Oh, oh go on. No, go right ahead. No, you're all set. I'm just. I just want to be my diary. I'd rather know yeah. what's happening before I do something. Basically, they're not all stood there, just like in front of the cart. They seem to be all marching alongside the road towards home. Oh, oh no. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. The old Mr. slowly turned to look in your direction. Hi! Um, and then right at the or... front, one of them raises up taller than the others. Uh. He turns around. His bowler hat catching the light as he does. Yay! Hello, this would be you. Who the fuck are you? Uh, actually... It would be you because Whisper and Yules have never met them before, so you'd be the only one to recognize Alice, them. Alice no, did point Cody. them out to Cody. Yeah, it would be Cody. It's also Cody. Cody? <laughs> yep, Cody, you see it now as the group turn around at the voices. And one of them raises up, leading the pack, and you see Freely. Freely! Oh no. He kind of looks over to you, Cody, smiles, and just. Kind of gives a grunt to the rest to carry on marching as he walks over to you. Um, she'll kind of like lean out the window and give him a big hug. Yeah, he'll kind of like hug back. And then just like look in the caravan to the rest. Just like give like a couple of grunts of greetings. He's still will reach over and pet breakfast on the head. I remember you. <laughs> Alan oh, just oh. waves it freely. No, don't know who you are. He looks to yours, looks to the rest of you. Like, who's this? New fawn, who's this? New bald, who's this? Poor <laughs> me. <laughs> and Whisper's going back to bed. <laughs> kind of like... Jesus, they're like, Yeah, good, Freely. It's been so long, buddy. He kind of just grunts in agreement. He sometimes just like takes the time to look over to the rest of the pack before looking back to you lot, just to make sure they're carrying on going. And yeah, you can definitely tell their destination is Tom at this point. I cannot speak to animals, but I, technically I... Aloe could use tongues. Allo could use tongues. Um, if we had eight hours, I could actually awaken freely. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, if freely wants, definitely. <laughs> I I mean, if we if we if we had eight hours to con literally awaken spell on freely, making freely an awakened fruzel. I'm sorry, but now I'm just imagining it's just like. Just mm. just Yule's picking up breakfast, going. I'll get her right back in eight hours. Awakens. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I am just We can do that after we're done with what we need to do. I'm I'm just going to Yeah, I'm just gonna use speak with animals. Um just basically be I forget, are Fruzels animals or are they monsters? They're animals. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna use uh speak with Animals, can I use it on Cody instead? I forget how that spell works. That way Cody huh? can talk. Huh? I don't think you can use tongues on someone else. Not up tongues. Uh, no, speak with animals. Oh, I don't know if you can use that. Uh, that's, why, that's why I'm looking at it. Uh, um, yes, you can use nope. tongues on another person because it's a creature I touch. Yeah, so, well, tongues would basically make it so that they could talk. Um, so that we can understand what they're saying, whereas yeah. uh, speak with animals would just be oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, tongue would it, work better. Yep. 
That would be, that'll be <laughs> handy. Oh, yeah, that would be work better. Yeah. Because uh, so, I used it on breakfast before. So you, you have. So if you use it on, so if you use it on freely, actually, we'll be able to understand it. Yep. So long as we can speak a language, which we all can. Uh, so hello, as you reach down to boop, to boop freely, he just kind of looks to you all. It's been so long. Oh, you're a really deep voice. Oh, well, since, you know, the first, uh, about a second ago since we last, it's been wonderful. Oh, yes, but now you can understand me, so it was better to ask. Really? It is good to see you again as well, Cody. Did you get your shampoo? What, sorry? Did you get your shampoo? Did you send him the shampoo? No, he had 100 gold. Oh, we were going to pick it up while we were there. Wait, is that why you're marching? That's why you're marching all those oh. bruises. No, 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 no. The shampoo, the shampoo thing is just going to be while we're there. Uh, word has traveled around the island about your loss. And given that I traveled with him and he was a good companion to me as well. I want to pay my respects to Oni. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it just kind of droops and then retreats back into the caravan. It's probably hitting her hard. Yeah. I, uh... Are you doing okay? No more weirdos attacking you guys sort of thing? There's actually been some spates of attacks, yes. Mm -hmm. Some uh, unusual beings that we've been finding it hard to keep track of. Each time we find them, it's a new face. It's a new smell. They're apparently striking our kind as a revenge for basically failing. For them failing the dryad and, you know, taking up a more relaxed state of being afterwards. They're just dummies. Oh, we know. That's why we've been taking the fight to them as well as we can. We've been controlled once. We don't want to be controlled again. Simple as. Yeah. But there's just something strange about them. Strange? How? Well, aside from the whole different faces, different smells thing, they've been taking our life energy. We've been fighting more and more of us just empty husks. At that, Whisper is going to wake the fuck back up and quickly peer over the top and say, excuse me? Oh, another new face. Uh... Oh, yeah, this is Whisper. Uh, yeah. Maybe yes. they were taking your life energy. Yes. Which means they're shredding apart your souls and using them for their own malevolent purposes. Yes. Well, then I guess I have a stake in this more than anybody. Hmm. It's not good. And that means you're completely deleted from the entirety of all of existence. Do not get near them. Please. Consumed. Not really consumed. More or less uh, like sorry. you're thrown I, into I, a I blender. Uh, before you say that, I wasn't talking to you guys. I apologize that that came. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just Didn't look over. Yules is on. over the mic. I thought I was muted. Yules is on his cell phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, let me just step out, steps out of the car, <laughs> goes back there, to talking. You're also just there going, what, I have a life beyond you lot, you know? <laughs> Multiple lifetimes, to be honest. Yeah. Mm, but please, don't get near them. You getting near them is like throwing your soul into a blender and having it ripped to shreds and mixed with thousands of others. Not fun. I will take that into consideration then. Uh, 
He'll look to you, Cody. Mm -hmm. Just, if you're going in there, just take care. Oh, well, freely. Don't worry. I don't want to lose anyone else. You won't lose, lose me, ever. He smiles and just like, just raising himself up to just give like a nuzzle. Just kind of cuddles in back, just kind of like. Anyway, mm -hmm. we probably best carry on the march. Uh, plus, I don't want to hold up your caravan. You can just go around us. Don't worry too much. Hey, Freely? Yes? I love you, buddy. <laughs> love you, too. Our friendship started out weird with me dominating you and forcing you to work for me. <laughs> you were a different oh, my. You were a different name back then. Yeah. You're and to be fair, you did attack us. Yes, yes. Uh... Yes, again, that's when we were under the influence. Yeah, it's okay. Also, Ego's got eyes now. Kind of. He's got a mouth, at least. <laughs> it looks up just in, like, he just looks past you and just, like, in the corner of the caravan where no one sat, just Ego sat there. Just, like, where the fuck did where? Ego come from? Genuine question. <laughs> It's like, yeah. hey, he's never really that relevant. He's just there. <laughs> uh, so e Ego was from the the animal shop all the way back in like the first couple episodes where they where we first saved Una. And yeah, I so don't he's remember just always... it. I remember Una, but I don't remember Ego because, because you weren't a part of that. No, she part. was. She was. Oh, was she? Was she? Yes. Was that? <laughs> I thought that was before we got Allo. I thought we that was before was... we got Allo. No, it was no, that was Petri. That was after. Yeah. Okay, so it was, that's so it was after Allo. Allo. That's That was when Allo met Sir. Yeah, oh, yeah, when, okay, yeah. It's also when Allo met the ice cream wizard. Ah, uh, yes. Because um, you did that and then you went to the mansion. So that probably actually has an episode title of when Ego came in. <laughs> but bugger me if I'm going to look that up at the moment. So, uh, so basically, the story behind Egg was um i found this uh random pet generator um and the description i got was an egg with legs um <laughs> that has an overwhelming that when it hatches will have an o will be able to kill party <laughs> and will have an overwhelming desire to eat people <laughs> which oh which God. is why when Egu does anything it's just basically like <clears throat> i'm scared now <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, I may actually have just quickly got to a YouTube channel where it's the sync out stuff just to quickly look and see when it was. I believe it was session uh, 20 or 21. Wow. I don't remember us getting Ego. I remember Sir. I remember Una. I remember it's Breakfast. It's because I didn't I technically buy Ego. Yeah, Ego is the same. After after uh, Oni kidnapped the shopkeeper, mm -hmm. I kind of just um, found Ego and took him with me. Yeah, okay. he just kind of came walking out of like just randomness. Like he, we didn't even, and then he just sort of popped into existence, and she picked him up and brought him, <laughs> and he's been with us ever since. Which is yeah, why anytime like he does one. anything. Which is every time he grows, we're all just kind of like, Ugh. <laughs> He's basically a doomsday clock. So. Do so. anybody that's ever wondered what's happened to several bar taverns that we sleep at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, if, if you ever just find a pair of shoes sat there, there goes eating someone. So. Freely also... He just doesn't like the shoes. So Freely will look over to you all and then peer past towards Allo. Reach his tail over and just gently give her a pat on the head. I'm sorry for your loss, but it's okay. He'd want you to carry on. Sure. Allo just kind of hugs his tail. Be strong for him. 
he'll be at rest soon. And then he will pull his tail back. Not you all. I'll see you at the site before running to catch up with his group. And as he does, the caravan moves to the side and carries on down the road and passes by them all. As Freely just gives like a salute to you as you do. Bye, Freely. We'll see you again soon. Well, later today, I'd assume. Yeah. <laughs> a little some new cast planners. So. Nobody cast planners. <laughs> Nobody cast it takes you just like another hour before you reach to home itself as the caravan pulls in. It's a bit more of a somber mood as you do. Like there's some people that don't seem to know what's happening and they give you like some waves and cheers as they recognize you as the people that helped save the town as well as the people that helped save the island. But some of them who are more aware of what's happened just look to you and just like take their hat off or just give like a solemn head nod. And there's quite a few usual sites as you pass by the shops, the tavern. You can even see a few familiar faces as you pass by the large dragonborn slash giant hybrid Koga. Even a few of the uh, ninjas who seem to be trying to get their clan back on track. Just kind of look to you. Just give a salute. Cody, you see the name here that was there as well. Uh, flashbang. You're but... alive! Yeah, I survived. Why? Just wondering. Just haven't been captured yet. <laughs> Where's Diva? Uh, I believe that she's out of town somewhere. Damn it! And as it carries on, just a couple more people. Just some of the bar patrons. Uh, <coughs> just some of the bouncy board people as well. You see the large snake person and the little goblin friend who were part of the assassination guild which is a bit odd you won't normally see them in the daytime but given the situation they look like they're about ready to pay tribute as well they've got their black parasol guarding them from yeah. the sun yeah. pretty much well he's got like the cobra hood so he's fine <laughs> to cover himself up with some of the place buildings they seem to be in a state of repair still like some of the larger ones. You see Flashbang. <laughs> I love how there's silence on that one. What? Oh, sorry, sorry I didn't hear you. Oh, sorry. I was saying that you see like a couple more people you recognize. Some of the larger buildings, they seem to be in a state of repair, like they still haven't been fully fixed yet. You see Flashbang. Yeah. Didn't you already say that? <laughs> yeah, we've already seen him. We already talked to him. Yes. Yeah. But you're seeing him again, so who do we know that does this? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Come on, people. This is all. Yeah, fun. sorry. Yeah, Which so this. Is just gonna look at them and be like, hmm. Um, Yules is going to look at the individual. The there's um, two of you. There's two of you. Okay. As the caravan carries on past. <laughs> there's two of them. There's, there's two of them. There's Yul two. You're just wholeheartedly going to just kind of slide out of the caravan via the window, drop onto the ground, looking at the other one. You just he's just going to walk. Right he's just going to walk up to him. Make me yeah, he's going to grab. He's going to grab the face, squeeze the cheeks. I mean, first of all, make me an acrobatics if you get it out to the caravan while it's moving. <laughs> Cody, Cody's also going to try. 24. Just uh, the thing as well, I've still got Bud Lou and, the, and Coda. Yeah. 
My giant Jules hyenas just, and bear. Oh yeah. Fields is just squeezing his cheeks, looking him in the eyes. Ah. Hi. Uh, what you doing? Are you Cody's, real? Cody's gonna go after the other one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you, can you please? Are you go? real? No. Are you real? Yes. If I wasn't. Are if you? I wasn't, if I wasn't real, how are you grabbing out? Cody's I'm gonna go after the other one. I'm using detect thoughts. The only thoughts that are racing through his mind are what the hell's happening? Who's this person? What the hell's happening? Why is he grabbing me the face? Oh god. <coughs> he's not gonna he's not gonna turn me in, is he? <laughs> I'd be he's good. Cody's Co going after the other flashbang. Bring bring the other one to me. I have moonlight and detect thoughts. I can know if it's them. So, I will use Moonbeam on a frickin' crowd if I have. Everybody clear the way. Clear the way! Clear the way! Cody. So, I'm going after him. Make me a survival check. Hold on. For, this is for trekking. Do, do, do you want Yules to do that as well? No, Might you, as well. You're, I mean, you're already stood there grabbing hold of someone's face. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, as you arrive at the area where you saw the first one, there's no sign of them. Can I sense any emotion? No. Which is odd because there's quite a few people around, and yet you sense nothing from any of them. Something's wrong. Ooh. Something is very wrong. Yules, Yules is using detect thoughts again on the, just on some random person to not will so yep. Cody is actually going to draw her plus two fire sword instead of um, her moles for once so you sense thoughts on someone random passing by just like your usual thoughts of well I need to go to the shop I need to pick up these items if I'm going to make this for dinner uh, my husband will be back at five, and then, uh, you know, supper. Yuld is going to telepathically stop. Telepathically stop. Do they not stop? Oh, you're asking them to stop. Yeah, he's just talking to them in their mind because he's telephone. He's got the feet. They'll like, stop and just look around and be like, what? Um, just get like the look on the face of, did I just hear something? He'll leave them be. Um, he's going to look out in the crowd. Damn it, this was a lot better when I was taller. Um. <laughs> Uh, he's just else? weaving he's just with flashbang in hand he's just weaving it there's else. something uh, just kind of got like looks at us like there's something really wrong uh, I can't sense any emotion at all can you sense any of ours no Yep, I'm going. I'm going to use. Okay. Yeah. Um. He spoke to her. Yeah. No. He's he, the the first one did speak to her, not the second one. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, which one is it for curses? It is. It is greater. I'm going to use greater restoration on her. On who? Uh, Cody. Okay. So... That... Like, Yules is just going to put his hand on her and just go ahead and use great action. Um... Just in case... Which... You mean just in case that's, like, blocking the finger? Yeah, just in case, like, she's been cursed or something's afflicting her. You still can't feel any emotions, Cody. Nope, nothing. Okay, so then it's not you, it's something here. 
Um... <laughs> Okay. There is something I could do. Um, this might. Okay. He's trying to get away. Um, Uh, oh, you're doing that. Dostat's always... I'm thinking. Dostat is still in the caravan. You've just watched Yules and Cody basically yeet themselves out the caravan. Oh, uh, and <laughs> Whisper. You felt Whisper get off the roof as well, because Whisper were there too, I believe. E, but I am no longer with Cody and Yules. Okay. And Una will actually look around <laughs> you all. Like... Uh, this is weird. Mm. This is weird, guys. Uh, Wait, can you not feel it either? Can you feel emotions? Well, not you're not with them. them. We're not with them. Oh, I thought Uno was We've with split Sorry. the party. I, 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 I missed <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. You two yeeted yourselves out the caravan. That's why I made you do acrobatics. <laughs> And Whisper was just like jumped off and was just like, I'm gonna go do something. By the way, Yules does still, he's just like holding Flashbang's arm as he is by Cody. Um, well, I've got one of them, and this one's the real one where he's masking his mind. How do we get the people? Okay. Yeah. Um,. But yeah, like Una's just like looking around at you all with still in the car. She's like, something doesn't feel all right. Like, what doesn't feel right? Well, you're sad, aren't you? Yeah. I can't feel that. That is a bit strange. Have you got a I... block no? Have you got a block nose? She just like leans over to trick them. Pulls on his jacket. Goes to blowing us. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. Let's go. No, I don't have a black nose. Hmm. It's, uh, I don't think that'd help anyway. We don't smell emotions. We just feel emotions. But I'm not feeling anything. I wonder if that's what, Co I wonder if that's why Cody, she kind of looks like they gone. I don't know if that's because they ran off or if the caravan's still carrying on the boat. Mm. Quick question. Yes. Cody. Mm? You've encountered this person before, right? Yeah. Did you see what they looked like not in their form? Did they have a weapon? Did they have... What was he holding? What was he holding? Was he holding anything? He was holding a bag. He had a bag. Kind of, kind of. Okay, hold on. Um, I am going to... Yules is going to sit down. Um, and he is going to take from his personal bag a small split twig that is split in three different ways, almost like a trident. And he is going to place it on the ground, and he is just going to sort of move his hands over it. As he does so, the shadow claw, and then his actual claws. And as he does so, he is going to go ahead and start chanting, and I am using locate object on that bag. Okay. You cast locate object on the bag. Yes. You get several pings. All the same bag? As far as you know, yes. Um, 
Okay. This is going to be difficult, but how close are they? All of them seem to be outside of the town. So they're all within town? No, they're all outside of town. They're all outside of town? Yes. And as you track them, they seem to be heading in one direction. They're heading back down towards Turtle Bay. Yold is going. Yold is going to follow them. Um, he's grabbed Cody. He's got Flashbang. He's got to look at Flash. This is Flashbang, right? Like his thoughts were Flashbang. Yes. It wasn't. Okay, cool. It wasn't anything artificial. Um, he's going to look at him. Going to be like, you, you have confusion, but you also have, right? Sorry, what was that? You broke up. You have confu- you're confused, but you also have bombs, right? Well, flashbangs, but yes. Good, we need them. Both of you are coming with me, and Yul's at just full speed um, using... Actually, are there any trees nearby? Not within, no. Okay, then in that case, he's just going to use long strider and to go ahead and just start running towards the backs. Okay, so, Whisper, what are you doing currently? Whisper sat atop the tallest building she can find, meditating, feeling every aspect of life within the town to figure out what is and is not human. And you, I think you know what I mean by human? Yeah. Like, yeah. But she's, it's going to take her a while because this is not something that she can just do instantaneously. This is something like that she is literally sitting, meditating on while everything's going on. As you're doing so, you feel something trying to tap in, something trying to block your search. I do not think so, sorry. And she is going to try to locate where around her that that is coming from, because it's got to be closer than outside of town. Make me an arcana. Oh, God, please help me. Pray for me. Not bad. Not terrible. It's coming from the east, and it's definitely within the city, well, the town's grounds. She is going to spend a little bit more time following it and pinpointing it before she decides to make a move. As you do so, we will hop over to the caravan group. So, you all know something odd is going on now. But you uh, we are me. Okay. <laughs> you know something odd's going on? You're not too sure what? Are you all staying in the caravan, or...? This I'm not sure that what the other guy know. Or do we think that he might be an imposter? Chris or Graham? Do you mean? Probably both. <laughs> Maybe not Graham because we have a I know. Met... You want to know what? Just pick both of them. Tie them up. Hog time. Put an apple in their met mouth. Graham. Yeah, yeah, we have. Before this. Before this? Oh, no, not before this. You're right. No, it was Chris that you met before this. And yeah. as far as you can tell, Chris pretty much acted the same way here as he's always done. But that's no indication of truth. You know, I just thought of something. Isn't there a spell that I know that I can use? No, doesn't look like it. Huh. None of us would happen to know. No, that probably wouldn't work either way because of it being a shapeshifter. 
back. Welcome back. Uh, so, I know you are trying to figure out what to do with their Trickstum Trickstum and Miasma. What are you two yes. planning on doing? I don't try to trick them. Really, to have something I can do. Either. I'm probably going to wait for a little bit. Okay. And Trickstum, are you waiting as well? Yes, that's what it is. I don't have it written down. Hmm. Trickstum? Yeah. Are you waiting as well? Or are you hopping out? Um, uh, I guess he will wait. Okay. So, as you lot wait, you're taken to the other side of the city. Before exiting, and being taken towards the graveyard. To the destination you were told you were heading to. Just from that act alone, Hello, you can probably guess. At least Chris is truthful in saying who he is. Mm. So can we'll... I cast Detect Good and Evil? Yes, you can. Okay. Let me just see what this does. Detect Good and Evil. Detect Evil and Good. Here we go. If there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within 30 feet of you, there are fey within 30 feet of you. <laughs> One of them is sat right across from you. It's me, as well. Uh, yes. Oh, we it's familiar, come to think of it. It's we, a familiar. We, we, we laugh at that, but by the inclusion of one of them, it means. That... Yep. Uh, there is also Fiend near you. Because Una is also in there, too. Oh, yes. We're mentally ticking off the ones that we already know what they are. Yep. Unless Miasma hasn't told us that they're a Fae. Everyone keeps bringing it up, kept bringing it up to her. She's like, fine, yes. There is also, yeah, yeah. There is also fey energy coming from the turtle. I was going to squint at the turtle. On top of that, there is an object that has been magically desecrated upwards on one of the rooftops. Mm. And that is all you're picking up from that. Oh no, wait, uh, trick, uh, tieflings count as fiends as well, don't they? Uh, not technically. Not, not, via, not via that spell, they're still humanoid. Okay. Um, yeah. They are not considered by that okay. spell. Unless they are possessed or they are they, broke. Yeah, then that's they right. are from hell. So you're only sensing Una, Miasma, the turtle, and some kind of object. Aloe is going to ask Chris to stop momentarily. Okay. Because Whoa, there, we're, not, kind of we're like, not sensing fey energy from him, so he's fine. Yeah, he kind of pulls on the reins to stop the horses. Something weird's going on. Something weird? Yeah. Una can't do her sense thingy. Now what what could that be? I wonder the turtle just says. But I cast detect good and evil and there's also something desecrated on that roof over there. He kind of leans his head out to look. Huh. That is quite high up. It's just like scanning the area. Well, the only things I could see that I could possibly be attached to if it's not just resting on the rooftop is some of the weather vanes. 
Well, yes, you know, the little things that you pop up and it's like the wind blows it around, tells you what direction the wind's blowing. Mm -hmm. It's the greatest though. I mean, it could be attached to one of them. Just something. I kind of want to climb up and check it out. I mean, it is on a large building. It's this one is of the Alice. smaller buildings around, but still. Yeah. We're just going to see. If you wanted to I climb, can enhance my ability, maybe. If you wanted to climb it, it will be in athletics. Yes. But I, before you do so, I will allow you but to if roll I were... Before you do so, I will allow you to roll an investigation. Okay. Let me go back to the core stuff. I'll also, in this also, if you're pointing this idea out, I'll also allow Trickster and Miasma to roll a wisdom. Oh boy. Uh, give me a second. Uh, that would be a 23. Okay. 22. Okay. So, oh, and we'll just wait for Trickston for his wisdom. But with your investigation, hello, you think that it probably would be an easier work for you to get up this building. If you could find the certain correct handholds, that probably like the ninja clan used to get around these places easier. Um, I've got an idea. Wait, are you, wait is this... Trickster. Are we trying to get up there? Or yeah. something? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Trickster, we've your whisper. Uh, no, you got no idea. You just know that if you try to climb, okay. you fall. Miasma, that is exactly what I was going to point out with your high roll. That you've quite literally <laughs> walked up things yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, as you see her just go do 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 up the slide side of the wall. If you You're want just going to gonna alloy, go up without aloe. I was going to say aloe. If you want to, you can try and cling to them. <laughs> I mean, you can try, but I don't have very good strength. And you're wearing armor. Uh, aloe does have some pretty moderately good strength. If you had cast it on aloe, then aloe could <laughs> yep, take you with you, her. Yep, because you can do it to one willing creature you touch. Whoops, sorry. Feeling. Unfortunately, it is concentration, so you can only do it to yourself. Well, yeah. you can only do it to one at a time. And I don't <laughs> want to spend another second level spell slot. And we have free. Yep. In that case, I suppose Aloe's just going to try and do it the old-fashioned ninja. I'll, way. I'll go walk up, look up, and point out parts for the bottom one. Okay. Uh, athletics with advantage. Athletics with advantage. Got it. Twenty-two and eleven. Twenty-two was that? Yeah. Okay, you're up five foot. Do it again. <laughs> Still with advantage? Yeah. Six and twenty. Unnatural? Yeah, it's unnatural. Okay, you're up ten foot. Again. Aww. Yes, I'm doing I'm doing that trick. Five you're foot. doing it my way. Yeah. How much further do we have? Uh, just more, just like fifteen more foot. Okay. Still doing this with advantage, right? Yes. As long as Miasma's Eight. still pointing out the areas, yes. Yeah. All right. Eighteen. Yep. Two more. And this is where it started to get. Twenty-one. To yep. <laughs> One more, and this is where it's getting to extremely dangerous heights of if you fall. 19. You're fine. You managed to get onto the rooftop. As you both arrive at the weather bay, make me investigations, both of you. Okay. That is a... I just check my investigation. It is... 15. That is 24. Or no, no, no. 20, 26. Okay. Oh, wait, would it be with advantage considering I haven't really stopped using uh, Detect? Uh, yes, it would. So. Ooh. Unnatural 20. 
Okay. Hello, you're able to just pinpoint it straight away. Miasma, you're just glancing around, you look to other weather brains, and then to mm -hmm. this one just to try and point out what looks odd. And you both find what seems to be an odd charm attached to it. Hmm. I'll have my familiar going to uh, grab it. As your familiar goes to grab it? It gets shot for two damage and lets How much health? Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have Mage Hand? Or do you have Mage Hand? Eh? I do not have Mage Hand. Uh, let me just check something on that. Because I know someone has Mage Hand, but. It's like gonna lean over to the girl. Anyone die? Is there anyone still like dying where we came from? Trickstimus. Hey, Trickstim. Yeah. Hey. 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 We need. Uh, there's something stuck up here, and we can't grab it because it's electric. I believe you have my hand. Anyway, let me just check. I don't. Uh. <laughs> Guess what? Trickstone doesn't either. <laughs> Just check. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> make me another wisdom save. Not a wisdom save. Make me another wisdom check. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch it with my quarter staff. Uh, your quarter staff's made of wood, so it won't conduct through that. But you do see. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like hook it and lift it over the Trix, charm. Tricks the dimension door. You could use that to get yourself up. You should probably take uh, Uno with you just in case something crazy goes on down there. Yeah. Let me just check just to see. You can bring along objects as long as their weight does that. You also can bring one willing creature your size a small one. So yes, you can bring Don't land on <clears throat> don't land on top of Aloe and Miasma though. They'll take yeah. for they'll take uh, force damage as soon as you do. And be knocked back five feet. Because I believe that's the rest of Dimension Door. I also have it. Yeah. I mean, that would be a tragedy if somebody fell yeah, off. You take the you take you get pushed back. Um, oh no, sorry, it's if you're within five feet, you take four D six force damage. Um yep. and then you also take that if the spell fails, right? Yes. Yep, no, wait. No, it's just if you That's do that when you fail somewhere. Yep. It's if you teleport to where there's someone already there, you take the force damage and the spell fails to teleport you. Because mm -hmm. you don't have to roll for it, it's just the thing that happens. Yeah, it's all the way at the bottom of the description, though. You think yeah. that'd be something they'd want to put at the top. <laughs> if so, you fail, you might die. So, Trickster, are you Dimension Dooring? Yeah. Are you taking uh, Uno with you? Yeah, why not? Odds are even. No. <laughs> Odds! <laughs> Yep, he manages to poof a safe area, so he's not within anything. I... You can see this. You can watch as Miasma takes a quarter staff and make me a dex check. Let's see if you can. Let's see if you can. It's making a dex. No, 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 Miasma. Six. You try and hoop this thing, but you're struggling to do so. And it just drops mm -hmm. to the ground instead. Should I help? Oh, wait, so you said drops to the ground? Yes. I'm gonna just start scraping along. Do you know the way whenever you've got like a thing, you just trying to pull it out from the table and you're like, mm -hmm. a foot for longer thing? <laughs> Do I need you have something that can conduct? Uh. I can't remember. Isn't my mace made out of wood? Uh, wood and some parts of steel. If I recall right, like a lot of it's wood, but like the spike areas are 
metal. Should be fine as long as the handle's wooden. Uno looks to it and looks like she's Should be ready. easy to hook it too with the spikes. Uno looks to it, looks like she's getting ready to cast out just blast on it. <laughs> it's actually yeah. But Everybody it is. get your most powerful spell ready. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> yeah, everybody just like raises their hand with like magic sitting in their hand, their most oh. powerful spell, and as soon as she gets it, just... Hello? Yeah. You can make me a dex as well to try and pick it up with your okay. mall. With the mall. Oh, it should be fairly like easy. I got spikes on it. Mm. 18. Yeah, you actually do manage to hook it up and lift it up. It seems to be some kind of amulet. Do we know what Anything kind of it is? nice on it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't of it. I'll free if you can I can't of this. That bitch. Who the fuck do I keep getting that? Uh, 26. 21. Unnatural. Yep. Uh, trickster. Oh, I can't. Ooh. You think it'd fetch a pretty price, Trickster? You think that'd be quite worth a little bit of money? The rest of you, however, this is an inhibitor. This is an inhibitor. This is a what? It's an inhibitor. Ooh. And as Uma What's steps that? closer towards it, her ears go flat against her body, and she just backs away quickly from it. I think this is what's doing that to you, Una. She slowly nods. Okay. I'm gonna get her to shake. Uh, I'm gonna grab the ball, the, the mall, and shake it so it lands back on the ground. I think we need to destroy it. Okay. Uh, my gun kind of doesn't like it when I destroy stuff, so somebody <laughs> feel free to do so. Magic missile on it, just free. Bolts head in there. Yep. You fire your magic missile. Three bolts go flying into it. The amulet glows. Trickstum, take two. Allo, take three. Miasma, take four. Who was uh -oh. taking three? Ow. As the damage is reflected back to all of you. <laughs> head over the mall. Who the heck has a mall right now? You! I have a mace! Mace, to mace the face. then. Technically, okay. Una has a mall, but. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can both hit it at the same time. Una will try. Eh. Una actually hits. I mean, to be fair, it's not hard to miss with this, but still. You can't tell me a 14 miss. Uh, roll your damage on the, the first and miasma, because it's an item, it's not a really good go anywhere. Okay. Trickston, you joining in with this? That was actually solid damage yeah. for the quarter staff. You joining you know, in with this beatdown? <laughs> I mean, well, well, sec, my, my, my roll 20 is being a pain right now. Oh, just give yeah, me a sec. I just saw that it logged you off. <laughs> give me a sec, it's just loading up again. Yep, so, that is so far 26 damage. We're just layering into this thing. Depending on what you in spells as we can currently, you're uh, hit no, it's not, a bit. Yeah, they were to use spells to hit it. Like you'd think that if you you think it's reflecting spells, given what happened with the magic missile, that's why we've mm. just gone in with it with all the melee. <laughs> I'm waiting to see your belt this. Huh? Oh my god, Lord, my character sheet. This is bullying. <laughs> I'm being bullied. <laughs> see what happens. 
so it's, uh, 26 so far that we've done to it. Is it loaded oh, up? Yes. <laughs> Well, I think I've crashed it. Do you want me to roll for you then? Yes, please. Just okay. do, just do like uh, the uh, mocking sword thing, Bob. That's the one that I was gonna do. Okay, so you, so you're using your sword of mockery. Just to stab it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say it won't proc the magic, mis the vicious mockery, because you're not attacking a living thing. Sword just rolls its eyes. But it's as the eyes. amulet begins to crack, tricks them. You're taking nine damage. Know why? No. Magic weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. And it is metal you are using. There we go. Bonk. That's enough to just crack it and destroy it. Is it just Actually, oh. Could 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 I make the argue that because the vicious mockery was not activated, the magic of the sword didn't activate on it because it's not alive. Therefore the spell wasn't activated and the sword's basic attack damage isn't actually magic damage. I mean, usually attacks from magical weapons do count as magic, don't they? Um, yes, unless their it. magical properties are nullified. But I'm just, I'm just seeing if I can make the argument of oh. that. If I can, that's okay. Now, I gotta say, it still reflects because it's a magical weapon. Okay, doggy. It's just basically anything magic would reflect if used on it. But with Miasma just like seeing tricks to reel back after it, it. And then just goes in with another quad staff smack. It just cracks and shatters. And I'm going to mm. need everyone but Miasma to make me a deck save. And I will roll for you, Tristan. 21. Uh, Trickster, you got. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, Miasma, you can make I'm me a deck save. It. What, sorry? Woo! Oh, it's 16. Okay, it's okay. Because as you feel yourself about to go over the edge, you are caught by me, Asper, before you can. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to roll for Una, too. Oh, no. Bye, Una. Now, I don't think I can grab Una, because it was very heavy, and I'm also, you know, <laughs> grabbing Trickstum. Bye, Una. Cannonball under the ground. Uh, how much is fall damage again? I don't know. What does it depend I on weight or something? Per ten foot. Okay, so it's only two d six. She's got <laughs> average. She takes seven falling damage. She just lays there groaning. Just like, ah. Why couldn't it have been me? Why couldn't it have been me? <laughs> on, the plus, on the plus side, I could feel emotions again. Thumbs up. And pain. Over the edge. And pain. Ow. For you. And we will quickly hop over. To those running outside of the city. To Cody and Yules. Cody, as you're just about reaching the outskirts. Has anything changed with the uh, the item detection spell? Uh, yes, they are all seeming to conjugate in one area. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, uh, we'll trap. Cody? Yeah? Make me a wisdom save. Okay, one second. I can hear um, the distant cries of Kai, and I don't know why. <laughs> oh no. You know exactly why. Yep, because of the same reason why it's here, because it was a fail. 
As you were about yep. to reach the outskirts, all of a sudden, a wave of emotions hits you from everyone around. Yeah! Oh, oh no! God, no! Oh, no! Ah! Basically, <laughs> basically, do you know, like yeah. if you use, do you know, like if you use detect magic in an area where it's all magic and you get flashbanged? It's like that. Cody gets knocked on their bootang. Yeah. Uh, you also see this from flashbang, of course. Are they? Have they stopped moving? Yeah, they've kind of doubled over because <laughs> it's painful. Oh, oh, oh on, fuck! On the, on the plus, on the plus side, on the plus side, yours. Because flashbang is in this. You know that flashbang is the true flashbang. Yes. Although I knew that earlier as well. Benefits of the telep- the telepathic feat. Um, Yules is just going to look at Cody, take his three clawed hand, and he's just going to slap her across the face. Yeah. And he's just going to continue to run, dragging her. He's got to leave Flashbang, but he's taking okay. Flashbang's bag of bombs. Uh, take one damage, Cordy, from the slap. Okay. You know, unarmed, just basic damage. And as you all race outwards, you all come across an eerie sight. Oh. Uh, yours? All yes. the blips have gone now. Oh. You can roll me an Arcana. They teleported, didn't they? Uh, that's a 25. Yeah, they teleported. Damn it, I could have stopped that. And they're dead ahead of you. Quite literally in the sense of the word. There are several husks. I was worried about that. It's the Fruzels. Yeah. I saw that coming. And yet you see a twitch from one of them. One of them is clearly still alive. Cody? Yeah? It's Freely. Freely! Freely is still alive, but barely. And as you run over... I'm casting Cure Wounds on that bitch. If I can get to him, that is. He manages to get his health back. But some of the wounds still seem to remain. Mm. Glowing with their lines. And their dialogue. Um... As if a re- message has been written in their flesh. Not reading it. <laughs> Not reading it. Nobody look at it. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to point at. I'm going to point at it. Not looking. Not reading it. But just looking at it, pointing at it, and I'm casting dispel magic. The wounds heal themselves. Congratulations, you are flown. That was indeed explosive runes again. Yeah. I mean, I can reincarnate freely as well. But freely but come back as something. I imagine you freely would prefer himself still being a frusel. Um, so, also, reincarnate is expensive. As you heal him up fully, he slowly gets to his feet, picks up his ruined bowler hat, just kind of dusts it off, rests it on his head. They, they came out of everywhere, they were all around. There was nothing we could do, they just came and he looks over to the rest of the Fruzels. My pack is gone. Uh, they, they took him again. That's they, from what I saw, they just attacked violently and then ripped their souls out of the body, stuffed it in some kind of bag. Oh hell no! 
Let's see. What do they look like? He slowly looks to you both. They look like you. They look like all of you. I thought that you were coming here to walk alongside us. And then... That happened. Yes, well, lucky for you. I can't take people's life force. Well, and that's kind of a lie, but... He was just kind of looking. He kind of takes off his glasses, cleans them, puts them back on. Mm. Did you fight back? We tried. Once we figured out what was happening, we tried to fight back. I investigate any of the frusals because they they said that they took the souls like they they just took the life force, right do the frusals themselves have any physical wounds or is it all spiritual roll me an investigation you can roll this as well cody one second that is a 21 investigation yes please Fifteen. As you look over the bodies, you see like a few like cuts and scrapes and bruises that were clearly clearly show struggles and signs of fight. But the main one that you see seems to be a puncture wound on each of them, as if they been stabbed by some kind of ornate dagger. And you can tell this one's unique from the rest, both from the incision cut. But also, quite literally, whereas the rest of the body seems to be shriveled up and dry. That seems to be the only place left with any kind of moisture. As if that's where the soul was taken from. Are there any non frusal footprints around as well? Any signs that the frusals did fight back? Oh yeah, the size that people, that, that there was another fight, that there was a fight pretty much going on here. There's several different kinds of footprints. There's the frusals. You spot ones that are like cobalt, Namir and such, where you assume that's where they were taking your form before they shift into like boot prints. Boot prints. Boot prints. As if their attackers are wearing boots. Any dirt or anything in those prints? Any thing that would be from a specific area? Not that you can really tell. It seems that if they are, it seems that even though they kind of were caught slightly off guard and had to rush out of there, that they still took care in removing a lot of the evidence. Where was that? Um, he's going to look at Freely. You attacked one, correct? To defend yourself, right? Their blood didn't taste right. You have some in their blood. He kind of bears his teeth. You can see they're kind of bloodied. Yes, but it's hard to tell which is their blood and which is mine at this point. But I, I'm sure someone with a good head for these kind of things may be able to separate the two. Wait, you bit one? Yes. Bit him on the shoulder. <clears throat> That's why he didn't stab me. Instead, he said I was to be some kind of message. So, I imagine that's the same guy who killed your little blacksmith. 
Um, he's going to sort of for Feely's teeth. He's going to take. He's going to kind of slip some of the blood into the cork it. Um, and he's going to put in the satchel. It's not like a glass vial. It's just kind of like a. Uh, um, I say, but yeah, kind of like a little wooden sort of thing. Yeah. Um. You bit him, and he looked like us when you bit him. He changed his shape by that point, but it was so. What did he look like? Featureless, just pale white skin, milky white eyes. No hair, no anything. Even the clothes they seem to wear were just nondescript. Changing or talking. Uh, you is just kind of thinking. To... Just sort of thinking. He just kind of sighs and then looks to Cordy. There is one person you may be able to ask in town about this. If it is a, if it is changelings that are behind this, and how it looks, things it clearly is at this point. Find the clothes maker. I doubt she is part of their ranks, but she may know them just purely from race. And you'd rec you'd remember the clothes maker, Cody. They were the one that made the Devil Darling uniforms. Yeah, I remember her. It's kind of like mm. I... we should find her once we get to town. He slowly nods, then looks to the bodies. <laughs> I'll be with you in a bit then. I should, um, I should are you these. going to bury them or would you like a Viking style funeral? It's with our dead, we usually take them to a spot within the forest and let nature reclaim them. Even though well, the souls are missing and can't be returned to the earth, it still feels the I... right thing to do. I can't exactly leave you here alone. Um... We should stay with Freely. Help him. I'd appreciate um, that. Yules is going to go ahead. He's going to take out a small black pebble and a small sort of crystal vial. He's going to hold him in his hand and he's going to sort of say something in Draconic. And as he does, um, the sort of ground beneath, um, as he is casting Summon Elemental Spirit, as he summons forth an elemental. Um, to which he basically commands to begin to help carrying the dead. Yep. And what elemental type is this? Sorry, because you broke it is it, it, it is a uh, earth. It is a construct of mud. So as it is this, a... as this construct raises up. There is quite a bit of mud in it and such because it's made of the elements around. There's also quite a bit of sand about it as well. As it looks down to you, Cordy. Mm. You recognize the shape. It looks like one of the guardians of the elemental of Earth. Ah, I just, remember you. Well, just, kinda. It just kind of nods before starting to help carry the bodies. Wait, hold on. Uh, you you know Jacobe? Well, he looks like one of the elemental of Earth's oh, guardians. Yeah. yeah. They all kind of get this simulated design. But hey, that's the cool part. You know they are. Whenever they are. Uh, by the way, that's Jacobi. Jacobi! 
wave. He doesn't speak, and he'll just go back to what he's doing. He's very simple, but very good hard worker. Um, then he's going. Then he's gonna put his glasses back on. Look at freely. Um, freely. Yes. I do need to ask you this. You suspect I could be one of them? No, no. I highly doubt they would allow themselves to blow the fuck up. They seem to. You can rebuild, yes? My ranks? Yeah, well, your ranks or whatever. Yes, but every loss still hits as hard. I know, but um, later on tonight, meet me in the tavern. I'm going to make sure that you have some sort of ability to help if this ha happens again. He'll just look to you and then nod. Sweet. Bye! Yulda's going to walk away now. Okay. So, Cody, would you help to carry some of the bodies in as well? It takes a little bit. And then you and Freely head towards the town. Where you all meet back up with each other. Uh, Whisper, as mm -hmm. you were meditating and you sensed the object, you felt mm -hmm. its energy just dissipate before you could get to it. As if it had already been neutralized. She is going to reach into her bag, pull out, um, oh Jesus. Oh shit, I don't have my mouse plugged in. Ha, <laughs> might help. <laughs> I'm like trying to use my mouse and I'm like, why is it not working? Um, she's going to pull out the refined crystal from long ago um, and reach within herself and pull out a very unusual looking soul. Um, it glistens and pulses as if made of sound waves. Um, it has multiple different colors and she fuses it to the gemstone and places the gemstone back in her bag um, before leaving the rooftop and heading towards I guess the tavern I don't know where it is she doesn't really know where anything is so she, I guess she's just kind of aimlessly walking around until she finds wherever these other people are uh me... She's looking for the party. Roll me your wisdom. No, oh, God. <laughs> Let's see if you can work it out. Nope. Yeah, you go to the tavern. <laughs> no one, no one that you recognise sees me at the tavern. <laughs> uh, the rest of you, however, I assume that you went to gather back up at the caravan. Yes, I just jump. May also just jump off the building and look down. Yep, uh, I'll say that you took your time to climb back down there, Allah. Uh, Trixton, you probably just... Actually, to be fair, Trixton, you probably just I mentioned door down with her. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yep, no, we're not risking that. We saw what happened to Una. Teleport. <laughs> so are we all in the caravan? Uh, they're all waiting outside the caravan. Oh, okay. Uh, you get there uh, shortly afterwards. Cody gets there as well. We freely... Yeah, she would have stayed with Freely until uh, everything was done. Uh, and... Una, as she looks to you both, senses your sadness and just rushes over and just hugs you both. Una looks a bit roughed up. Una? Are you okay? What happened? I fell from a roof. You fell from a roof? Yeah, that one. Points to the building <laughs> where the where the amulet was on. 
We uh, yeah. me, Alo, me, Asma, and Trixton. We found the the thing that was blocking us from sensing stuff. Uh, so we attacked, and it kind of blew up, and I kind of fell off. Let's see. Hmm. I'm fine now. Right, you, some the thing that was blocking your emotion. Yeah. The, our ability to sense emotions. Where is it? <laughs> Looks towards the rest of the group. I don't know. I fell off the roof. Did you pick it up? Or did you pick up the remains? No. Did you destroy it? I'll go back. She walks back up the side. Because Tanker, she said, dispel it. Uh, we destroyed it. I know that much. It blew up. It blew up. Are there any. Uh, you know what? I'm going to. Una, uh, oh, Una, Una, come. Will be looking for a ride on the top now. Una, come here. Una walks over. He's just going to boop her, and as he boops her, he's using uh, the bomb of the Summer Court, and he is going to extend one of his healing dice. So that is a d6 plus her constitution. Okay, let me just see. d6 plus con. Plus three. Seven. Cool. She's looking a bit better, like almost fully back up. Thank you. Uh, I, You're I welcome. She, I think she's gone up to get them, but why are you too sad? Um, um, people died. What? Freely's, Freely's clan Freely. was attacked on the road. Freely just slowly nods. Freely uh, was the only one left. Which is why... Freely? Yes. I'm going to awaken you. What? It uh, is quite apparent that you are one of the loved ones that the individual spoke of. He'll look to Cody. I mean, I don't know too much about what awakening means, but I'll leave it that. means that you'll be able to talk like us properly and think more. You'll become awakened, not you'll... like you'll become more uh, humanoid brain. So basically, this... basically, you'll become a cooler version. Of... So this is something I should do then. It is up I to mean... you. I'm not going to force it upon you. Give it me. is up to you, Freely. It'd be cool, though. We could speak without spells. Yes, but it may distance me from the rest of the clan. Well, you'll just be a bit smarter. You'll still be able to speak Fruzel. Give me time to think about it then. I will give of you time. Course. I still have to prepare it, of course. For now, the other thing yes. that I will do for you, though, is very simple. The fruzzles are to the back of your place. Yes. Yes, the ones in the forest, yes. They are not fighters, I imagine. Some of them are. Some of them rem remember the old days where we had to fight for territory. Yes, but we don't want this happening again. And so the confusion doesn't happen once more. I'm going to ask a very specific individual if she picks up the goddamn phone to send some of her special little people over. He just slowly nods. Uh, Miasma, at this point you come back down from the building with these shards. 
Okay. Yep. Excited to have you all in numbers, and I know the. And. Hello. Freely just walks up to you and just rests his head on you. Although my kind don't get a funeral like he will, I will still attend. We should go. Thanks. His funeral will be starting soon. And it's at this point where you join the crowd up at the front as you all walk towards the graveyard where next to Petru and next to Sidonas Greystones Sidonas being the head of the ninja clan for those that need a refresher on that is a new headstone to uh, remind me again, what was Oni's actual name? Uh, it is Saki Iyama. Yep. The Rage of the Mountain. So his name is, on the gravestone, Isaki, air quotes, I Oni. Isaki. Yeah. Isaki, air quotes, Oni, Yama. Do you know like they do sometimes where they've got like the nickname? On yeah. The gravestone, it's like that. Friend, father, loved one, hero. There's a few. Um, what's that noise? Like hmm? a noise. What's that noise, Rana? A near fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that sounds like an elf. I like it. That screechy, screechy noise. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that wasn't being picked up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining it. I was just like. Oh yes, no sad thingy. Rana's there, falling. Uh, Alo's there, falling nails. Why are you doing that? I'm about to maul some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a special nail file for kobolds, specifically to sharpen them to a very dangerous point. <laughs> but after a few eulogies, you are motioned up, Alo, yeah. to lay the ashes to rest. Uh, do you have any? words you want to say as well. I'm not good with words. Uh, I am definitely not good with words. Especially not with the situation. Uh. It's understandable. If you want some time alone, we can leave you some time to grieve. Yes, please. They are not the crowd disperses. And the turtle will walk up to the rest of you. It's up to you if you want to stay and help, but she may just need the time by herself to grieve. Mm. Um, hello? So. <clears throat> take take Ego with you. Oh. He'll eat anyone who tries to get to you. As long as you're not watching him. <laughs> He's shy. So, Cody hands Alo Ego. Yep. Uh oh. Ego noises. Ella just kind of pats Ego on the head, or what she assumes is the head, top of the egg. Can I just say as well, like, if someone ever goes through these and adds subtitles, when it's just ever Ego noises, can we just have, like, the double brackets, Ego noises, or, like, happy Ego noises, angry Ego noises? Just like... <laughs> so, Apart from, we're never Ego. sure which is which. Yeah. It goes just stuffed inside of a closet for like an adventure, and so it's just kind of left behind. So it makes a step. 
So, as the rest of you head back towards the tavern, you are left there a lot to grieve. Although, you do see a couple of figures around you at one point. And as you look around, you see what seems to be a couple of the gods that you recognize more there. Kivi, the guide. Even Shadow Mother has been brought to pay your respects. And in the distance, you see a couple of spirits. You don't see only himself or how you presume he used to look. But you do see a couple of other humans stood there. A young female and a child just watching on before they fade. As if they were paying their last respects as well to someone they never got to see. And then after this time you head back towards the tavern and yes that was Oni's wife and child <laughs> well Isaki's mm -hmm. like wife and child I kind of figured as much and Mari and Tala yes and then as you walk away let me just see how long we've been recorded for yes I just want to do this last thing as you walk away one last figure walks in front of the grave and rests a sword mm. atop of it. I'm sorry it came to what happened, brother, but at least you are at peace now. Before they two fade away. And with that, we're ending the session there this week. Another funeral! I know, I'm, yeah. I'm killing off the NPCs and giving them all funerals <laughs> one by one. I am just so very glad you all learned your lesson and they go, oh, a message! Reads it, freely blows up. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I know. You'll if that had happened, that. if that happened, <laughs> if someone did that, Cody would have destroyed them. <laughs> It's it's okay. Yul's can soul be reincarnated. Ain't be I coming just, over. Ain't I just a stinker? <laughs> I'm not so, sure it's um, funny if really came back as an actor. Am, am I singing an outro as well? Uh, or I think number four is number four. Number four. Fuck. Ha ha. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, if you if you if you don't want to do it, I can do it as ego. That actually would be fun, but no, I'm gonna have to stick to the fair rolls. Okay. Uh, if I roll myself, I've got to do it, so Yeah, you've been avoiding it for a while. I, I have. Yeah. What voice I'm would I happy. Do this I haven't had to do it in forever. Your normal voice. Oh Mrs. Uh, DM, bring me a dream. A scary monsters <laughs> and shit unseen. We'll play D and D until they break. Mrs. DM, don't be late. Woo! Woo! You said I couldn't sing. Nobody? <laughs> no one. So, we will see you all next time on The Devil Darlings. And uh, mm. before we uh, fully quit off, mm. uh, I don't know if it's become, going to become a frequent thing or not, but Santa, are you planning to live stream more of the Wizard Lizards like you did last Friday? Possibly. In Maybe. That, in that case, keep an eye out on, I believe it's a certain D-Life channel, ain't it? It, it, it is. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll we'll put it, later. it in the description. Um, the video, yes, it'll be a bit the of video. It'll be, it'll the videos of it will be posted to YouTube anyway, so... Yes. So, keep an eye out for that. Links will be in the description when we upload this. And... Aside from that, it is Spooky Month. Spooky Spooky Month. 
So mm, yep, my my local spa is already it, it's already advertising for Christmas, and I'm like, what? Yes, that is the spookiest month for any see Christmas stuff. But uh, yeah, it's like, oh no, it's gonna start happening. So that means a couple of special things. One such thing is Halloween itself falls on a Saturday, so expect a special Halloween episode. Oh yeah. The second thing. We have, we're going to be doing a certain upload on that day as well. As we actually do a little test for playing games on this channel as well. Game what, mate? Uh, so... <laughs> playing games, my dear? Did you not want to oh. hear him or were you not listening? Uh, no. It Her, yeah. Raka. So. Her, yes, yes. yes. Get corrected. Yes, for those, that That's don't, a pun. for those that don't know I'm trans, hi. But uh, on Halloween, <laughs> keep an eye out on this channel, as you will see. TV and the Trickstam, we're playing Spooky so Jump Scare Mansion. I don't scream. There's no such thing as screaming. As, Not once. As we go through, to, as we go through the uh, new DLC for it, the Dollhouse. Oh, yeah. So I have absolutely no clue what's in no, store. No, none of us do. I have not, I have looked up not up. watched anything about it. I've not seen I have it. I've not, not played it. So play way, play I way. have not spoiled it. So it's going to be my yep. genuine and reaction on it. I believe it's we are going good. to be recording that tomorrow. So, yet again, invite extension for everyone that's here in the chat. Uh, um. If you want to. Feel free to pop in and join in in character wise at the Devil to at least play through a spooky game. <laughs> I just show up as I go. That is fine too. You just come Actually, in and scare them. And so, so, so funny, a bit of a funny. We were playing uh, fa uh, phantasma, uh, phasmophobia last night. Um, and I got the feeling just over global where you have radios because there's proximity chat. So I just over the radio while everybody's leaving the house. And they're like, ah, oh, fuck, what the fuck? And I'm just like, and they're like, oh, God, it's, it's, it's right next to me. And I'm like, no, it's, it's not. It was me. Uh, <laughs> just scared the shit out I've of me. I've seen gameplay of that. But, uh, I, yeah, it is a fun game. If that does work out quite well, uh, recording-wise, you may see some other gameplay videos pop up on the channel sometime. I know we did try to get a video of Monster Prom up, but unfortunately that crashed halfway through. We have tried three times, and each time we fail. Yep. Uh, but that may be another thing we want to do sometime, because I know this month Monster Prom 2 is released. Yes. So who knows, maybe we can play a video of that as well, but until who then... Who knows? I mean, we also tend to hang out on the Pixelmon service, so if we could ever try and figure out how to get that recorded. That, that would make for some good antics. Or, you know, that's a hardcore, so hardcore realm. Either way, yeah. we've gone off quite a bit. So, we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.